Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor with another edition of Maxine Taylor's Trumpology Report relating all things Trump from an astrological perspective. And I leave it up to you to interpret them as you see fit, as you choose. One of the other people, the other day I did uh, a chart comparison between uh, Trump and Putin, which is uh, very powerful, very important right now. Another chart comparison that I think is very important as well is a comparison between Trump and Julian Assange. Um, Assange has been in the news for quite a while. And so I thought it would be helpful to see what Assange triggers in Trump's chart and what Trump triggers in Assange's chart. Now, keep in mind, there is so much involved in a full chart comparison. I'm doing uh, something that is very bottom line and very simple so that I can get the point across uh, that each planet is trying to make. If you would like a reading from me, if you would like your own personal chart comparison between yourself and a loved one, just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com, and we'll talk. Okay, let's talk about, first of all, <clears throat> what uh, Assange triggers in Trump's chart. I'm gonna start, uh, since he's not a politician, since Assange is not a politician, I'm not going to start with the 12th house. I'm going to start with the 10th house of the public image, the career. Um, it's a vitally important house for anybody in a position of leadership. And I, I feel like I, I know Trump's 10th house. I understand it. Uh, I've worked on it for so long now. You can see that Assange's Saturn, the planet of restriction, responsibility, or building structures sits on Trump's mid heaven. The mid heaven is the very top of the chart. It is the, uh, the sign Taurus on Trump's mid heaven describes the type of public image he pre uh, projects as well as the planets inside. So he's tough, he's stubborn, he's determined and Taurus is the sign of money. So I don't have to say anything else, right? Okay. Um, Assange, Either, because these planets can function on two different levels, more than two, many different levels. Saturn either restricts or makes tangible and practical whatever it touches. And so he can build Trump's uh, public image more, or he can restrict it. Only time will tell how that works out. However, Assange is Venus. Venus is love. Venus is beauty. Venus is money. Wherever it is in the chart is what you love. Um, it, it blesses you. His Venus sits on Trump's Uranus in the 10th house, which is always doing the unexpected publicly, being a rebel. It sits on his North Node, which is the area of uh, greatest fulfillment and success. And it sits on his Sun, which is the ego in the center of your life. And so Venus blesses uh, Trump's public image. Isn't that interesting? Now let's look at the 11th house. The sun, Assange's sun and Mercury are in Trump's 11th house. The 11th house is the house of groups, of friends, of hopes and wishes. Uh, but with, with Trump, it's definitely groups because that's where he, he comes alive. So Assange's sun, the giver of life, sits on Trump's Mercury. So it has him talking more. It has him uh, dealing with group smart. It encourages him to get out there and project uh, his ideas. Assange's Mercury sits on Trump's Saturn Venus. And so once again, Mercury is a neutral planet, but it encourages you to speak. And so it triggers Trump's leadership and Trump's love of groups. Very, very interesting. Now we get to the 12th house of behind the scenes activities. Now the 12th house is the subconscious mind and that's true. But in a case where somebody is in a uh, position of power and authority, we're going to be very mundane about this and talk about behind the scenes activities and hidden enemies and what goes on that other people don't see. 
Well, in Trump's chart, he has Pluto in the 12th house, power and control. And he has Mars in, in the 12th house behind the ascendant of fire and passion and uh, fighting and spitting it out and telling it like it is. So the South Node, Assange's South Node, sits on Trump's Pluto. He can drain some of Trump's control, some of his control from behind the scenes. So this is very, very interesting. And Assange's midheaven, that's the midheaven, which is his public image, can also control Trump, Trump's power, his control. It's, it's really up to how he chooses to use it. Um, and sits on his Mars, which fires him up some more, and sits on Trump's ascendant, the most personal point in the chart. So. The authority, midheaven, of Assange sits on Trump in a personal way. It's, it's Assange's um, career, authority, that influences Trump. <clears throat> now, let's look at the second house. Assange's Pluto, which is control or transformation, and Uranus, which is rebellion or innovation, his Pluto sits on Trump's Neptune, controlling the dream, controlling the money, influencing the money. And his Uranus, the rebel, also busts, bursts Trump's dream, but also can explode um, Jupiter, which is financial abundance, can bring about uh, an unexpected change. What kind of change? Unexpected. We don't know. It can be marvelous. Doesn't have to be. Once again, it is the nature of the planet, how the person uses it. Assange's moon is in Trump's third house, and so uh, there is an emotional tone. Um, uh, Assange's moon is in Scorpio. Scorpio moon can be suspicious, and that may be what Assange brings to Trump. Now, look at the fourth house. Assange's Jupiter, Neptune, and Ascendant all sit in Trump's fourth house of real estate and family. Jupiter is expansion, it's blessings. Um, it is in Scorpio, so it's more control. Neptune is the dream or subterfuge. Neptune is either wishful thinking or divine inspiration. So there can be confusion about real estate, about home and family. However, um, Assange's ascendant influences Trump's um, family and uh, real estate picture, where he lives, who he lives with, perhaps, etc. Now look over here at the sixth house. Assange's north node and Mars both sit in Trump's sixth house of work and employees and service. And so the north node helps him with his help, health, helps his job, and fires him up about getting busy and getting down to business. And so there can be uh, more work that Trump actually does as a result of his dealings with Assange. We'll look at the reverse in just a minute. And Assange's vertex is up in Trump's ninth house. And so the karmic vertex, your karmic role in life, uh, Assange helps him branch out and expand his territories, expand his vision. Now let's take a look at what Assange, excuse me, what Trump triggers in Assange's chart. I'd love to do uh, the actual birth charts of Assange and Putin, and maybe I will at some point in time. Um, so you have to let me know what you'd like. Let's talk about what Trump triggers in Assange's chart. Well, first of all, let's look here at this midheaven. The midheaven is your public image. It is your career. It is your public power. And Trump's Pluto, Mars, and Ascendant all converge on Assange's midheaven. So he really influences um, Assange's public image. Now, how does he do it? Pluto is the planet of control. And so he is a control factor to Assange's public image. He exerts control. His Mars, fire, uh, action, war, passion, 
sits on the midheaven, firing Assange up, helping him climb. And his ascendant means on Assange's uh, midheaven, Trump being, brings his personal support to Assange and his career. Now, I want to mention here that Assange's um, south node, which is the area uh, that we've mastered in past lives and can be a drain to us in this lifetime if we spend too much time with the south node, Trump's Pluto control sits right on that, or Pluto transformation. How's it going to manifest? But the impact of Pluto, which traditionally is control, uh, until the person reaches a point in their spiritual growth where they use it as transformation. And this is why the planets can manifest on all different levels. You can see that Trump has a lot of influence over Assange's career and public image. Now let's look at the 11th house. Um, Pluto, the planet of control, and Uranus, the planet of rebellion, are both in Assange's 11th house of friends and group activities and hopes and wishes. And so Trump's Neptune sits on Assange's Pluto, uh, dissolving, either dissolving Assange's control over the groups he deals with or inspiring him, Neptune, to take more control. Once again, up to the people involved. Trump's Jupiter, the great benefic that expands everything and makes it larger than life and bigger, sits on, I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused with these two, two charts, uh, sits on Assange's Uranus. Jupiter expands his rebellion, really makes him rebel. And uh, Trump's Neptune inspires Assange to rebel. So there you go. Trump's moon and south node sit in Assange's first house, uh, making him more self-protective and perhaps uh, putting more attention on himself and, in fact, bringing about a change in him, in his health, in his, his, uh, what he projects one-on-one, -on -one, and maybe draining his energy. Trump's vertex, very, very powerful, sits, get my charts straight here, here we go sits right on Assange's third cusp, bringing about changes in um, what Assange says, how he says it, very, very powerful. Trump's midheaven sits on Assange's Saturn. The midheaven is, is the, the point of power and authority in the chart, and it sits on Assange's Saturn, which is on the hidden side of the seventh house, meaning that Assange can feel held down by other people, by the public, and so Trump's authority reinforces that. Trump's sun, north node, and Uranus sit on Assange's Venus in the seventh house. It's close to the eighth cusp, but it's in the seventh house. Uranus is the rebel, and, and, and it's ready to, to, to do to be innovative and independent. It sits on Assange's Venus saying, Let's have fun. Let's enjoy. The North Node on Venus is a blessing, helping Assange with his relationships and with his money. And the Sun, Trump's Sun, sun on Assange's Venus indicates um, a very positive friendship. Venus is love, and there is a, a, a loving feeling. There can be friendship there uh, of a very positive nature. Trump's Mercury sits on Assange's sun in the eighth house. The um, ego is hidden. Uh, the eighth house sun indicates that that person's ego will undergo a transformation in this lifetime, which is very favorable. And Trump's Mercury, his conscious mind, his communication, fires that up. But it also helps Assange think of himself. And last but not least, as we finish up this ninth house, Trump's Saturn and Venus sit on Assange's Mercury. Mercury in the ninth house is long distance communication with foreigners. And that is, of course, uh, what Assange does, did, will do. Um, his 12th house indicates lots of behind the scenes activities, however, and he is a very private person. Um, so 
Trump's Saturn uh, helps Assange think very seriously about where he's going, and Trump's Venus on his Mercury helps him love the trip, love the journey. So I hope that this has been helpful and informative to you. There's more to come in my Trumpology reports. I will be watching uh, Trump the his entire term. When he is inaugurated, I will have the exact moment of his inauguration and I will share that information with you along with whoever surfaces in his milieu. So until we meet again, this is Maxine Taylor saying, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.